The UEFA Euro Tournament is now here in FC Mobile, so today I'm going to see if I could win it all on world-class difficulty. Now, there are many teams that could win the tournament in real life. We have Germany, we have Spain. England is, of course, a favorite, so is France. But today, I'm going to see if I could win it with Portugal. Here are the draws for the groups. Let's now get into the first group stage match, and we are greeted with this incredible animation. They really are going all out for Euro 2024. So our first game is here against Chesnia, and here is going to be our lineup. We have Rafa. Rafael Leal on the left, big man, 92 rated, they upgraded him for the tournament, Cristiano Ronaldo and Bernardo Silva at a 94. The rest of the team looks incredible, we got 93 rated Ruben Diaz, and even our bench is full of superstars. So with that, let's get into our first match, and world class is going to be difficult, but I do think I'm going to be able to win it all. Here we are in the stadium, we are walking out, and I'm really glad that they put a lot of time into these animations, they do look great. We got Portugal versus Chesnia. And we got our lineup running 4 3 3. It's probably going to be one of the best lineups to run with in the game. And especially against Chesnia, who is going to have a three back formation, I think we're going to handle this pretty well. So we're going to kick off here with Cristiano Ronaldo. We now have the ball with Bernardo Silva, and hopefully we could get a couple goals right off the bat. Something I recently did was chose the option to increase the pass speed. So when I pass the ball, it powers it up a lot faster. We got a ball in here to Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he finish it? No, he missed that. How did we miss that? We had a great opportunity seven minutes in and we put it over the net. Good. We got the ball here back into Bernardo Silva up to Otavio. I'm going to play a through ball here to Cristiano Ronaldo. Go back to Otavio. Can we get a skill move? Didn't even skill move, but can we finish it? Yes, we can. Otavio scores in the 15th minute. That was easy. Great defending there by Bernardo Silva. He's putting in a shift today. Got the ball up here to Otavio. We're going to play it through to Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo's on the ball. Skill move. Didn't quite work. Through ball. Can we hit it one time? Oh, great save. Otavio almost had his second goal. We're going to put the ball into the box here. Pepe is in the box. Nothing happened there, but we got Paulinho here. Can he have a hit? Yes, he can. And Paulinho scores the second goal in the 39th minute. Up to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva, I'm going to send Ronaldo on a run here. I want to get a goal with Ronaldo. Skill move wasn't really that... Didn't have a purpose, but right foot. Why do you hit it with the right foot? Doesn't make sense. Layout was offside. They gave away the ball there up to Bernardo Silva, up to Cristiano Ronaldo. Skill move to get around him. Somehow that worked. And we got a score goal here with Ronaldo. No, no, we missed another opportunity. Dalo was beaten here on the wing, but he's going to come back. Look at that defending. Beautiful. Up to Bernardo Silva is where I wanted it to go. There, a little through ball up to Otavio. Through ball once again up to Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm going to skill move to get onto the other side of him here. We're going to move this way. I want to get a goal with Ronaldo here, so a skill move. Right foot. Can we hit that? Yes, we can. Let's hit the Sui. Let's get Cristiano Ronaldo to hit the Sui for us one time. Beautiful. 3-0 in the 62nd minute. They gave away the ball again. We're going to play it off to Ronaldo. Ronaldo is through on goal. I'm going to try a tricky shot here. No, I'm not. I'm going to cut back. Can we get a goal? We get another goal with Ronaldo. That is a brace in his first game of the Euro at age 38 or 39. There you go. I'm now putting on Jao Felix and Diego Jota for Ronaldo and Leao because I think it's important to try out our substitutes. We got to see how they feel. So we got Bruno Fernandes here on the ball moving forward. Someone's going to make a run. There you go. Lay it off to Jao Felix. Jao Felix, I'm going to try to lay it off into Bernardo or Jota and Jota gets a goal right away. Our two subs make a difference in the 84th minute. And there you go. That is the match 5-0 in our opening match in the Euro that is incredible. So our next match is going to be against Turkey. Here is Turkey's squad. They have four at the back, which will help them a bit, but they do not have the quality that Portugal has. Something I've found is if you press these teams well enough, you should be able to get through on goal. So we got Cristiano Ronaldo here, laid off to Leao. Leao could not get to the ball. Great piece of defending. We got the ball here with Ruben Diaz. I'm actually going to lay it off wide here to Bernardo Silva. And we got tons of space here in the middle. Someone's going to make a run. I'll send Bernardo Silva on a run. Good. We're now going to cut back inside. Someone else has got to go on a run. Cristiano Ronaldo. Good. Ronaldo, can we hit it on the left foot? Can we get a goal here? Oh, off the bar. No. Bernardo Silva. Skill move to get around. Little finesse shot. Oh, and we could not finish our opportunity there. We got the ball here with Otavio. We're going to lay it off up here to Cristiano Ronaldo. Skill move to get around the defender. Skill move again. Somehow sticks with it and hits the bar again. We've hit the bar twice so far. Okay, we got an opportunity here. We got to send it out wide up to Leao. There should be tons of space. Yes, there is. We're going to pass it into the middle. Pass it across. Keep the ball moving. 
up to Bernardo Silva. We're going to pass it into Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo have a hit. Oh, and what a save. Cristiano Ronaldo here at the edge of the box after a failed corner kick. Can we hit him with the finesse shots? What a save. Wow, I thought that was a goal any day of the week. We now get the ball into the box once again. Can we get a header on targets? Yes, we can. Ruben Diaz, what a powerful header. That is incredible. 1-0 in the 63rd minute. They keep giving the ball away. We got Ronaldo on the ball in his favored left side position. Skill moves are doing something for some reason. And we got another goal with Cristiano Ronaldo. Currently three goals in the 2024 Euro. And that's going to be the end of the match. 2-0 against Turkey. Our third opponent is going to be Georgia. Here is Georgia's team. They have a five-back formation, but they won't stand a chance against Leao, Ronaldo, and Bernardo Silva. We already got the ball here. I'm going to lay it off to Bruno Fernandes. Can he keep it going? For some reason, the defenders are not tracking on players, which is interesting. And that's 1-0 up in the fifth minute. We got the ball here with Jao Cancelo off to, oh, poor pass, poor pass. They might be away here. They might actually be away. We got to play the safe and we got lucky. Ball off here to Jao Cancelo again. We got the ball here with Leao. Slow skill move, but he should beat the defender with this pace. Not really, so we're going to pass into the middle. Lay it off here to Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm going to go through. Hit him with the left foot. Look at that. Ronaldo is on, what, his fourth goal so far in the Euro in the 25th minute. Something I do have to say though is world class is not feeling as hard as I thought it was going to feel so far. Now of course we are playing lower rated teams. We haven't played a France or an England yet but still I feel like goal should not be coming this easy. I'm gonna pass into the middle. Beautiful pass. Cristiano Ronaldo top of the box. Finesse shot. Look at Cristiano Ronaldo. He might be the top goal scorer in the entire tournament with everything is said and done. Okay, we got the ball in here with Otavio, or no, Bernardo Silva. Now we have the ball with Otavio. Otavio, finesse shot, and went over the net. Okay, we got the ball here with Paulinho. I'm going to lay it off back to Cristiano Ronaldo. Can we pull off a long-range power shot? Oh, we almost did. Great save by the Georgian goalkeeper. We got a ball in here to the box into Pepe. Can he score? Oh, what an incredible header. We might have actually just conceded our first goal so far. No, we have not. And that is going to be the end of our third match. And with that, we are through to the round of 16. I'm glad they don't make us play an extra game. So in the round of 16, we are facing Scotland to start. And when we beat Scotland, we're then going to have to face the winner of Turkey and France, which will likely be France. If we could knock them out in the quarterfinals, that will be a huge W. Here is Scotland's team. They're running a five at the back as well. Fairly decent defense, but their attack, I don't think will be enough. So we got a ball in here to Bernardo Silva up to Rafael Leao. I'm going to do a skill move to get around him. Beautiful. Beat him with the pace. I'm now going to have to do another skill move to get around that defender there. Hit him with the finesse shot. Can we get a goal? We get a goal in the fifth minute. What a run from Rafael Leal. Into Cristiano Ronaldo. No, that's not Cristiano Ronaldo. That's Paulinho. Never mind. We're going to play back. First time Cristiano Ronaldo. What a goal. What a goal. That is a clinical finisher right there in the 19th minute. C. I'm going to play a ball into... I meant to play it into Ronaldo, but that's fine. Ronaldo on the turn. Left foot shot. There you go. A brace in the quarter or the round of 16, rather. We got the ball here with Rafael Leal. I'm going to lay it off here to Otavio and then up to Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo's on the ball. He's going to get around the defender here. Cut back. That should be a penalty. And it's going to be Penaldo who takes it. Never mind. Bruno, <laughs> Bruno Fernandes. This should be a guaranteed goal almost. Yes, it is. 4 0. We get the ball in here to Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm going to try to go for the hat trick. We got to bring eternal glory here to Portugal. That should be a goal. Beautiful goal. I've got to say, they have made Ronaldo a complete striker. His finishing is incredible. Of course, his base card in the game is actually 86, but they've upgraded him all the way up to a 92 right now. So he's playing really well. And him, Bernardo Silva, and Rafael Leao are just menaces on the pitch. I'm going to play the ball into Leao. And Leao, I'm actually going to hit a red time finesse shot. That should be a goal. What a goal from Leao. That is crazy. Ball in here to Otavio. I'm going to play it back. Giancarlo Ramos, who came on for Ronaldo. Up to Jao Felix, who came on for... Rafael Leao, and we're going to score a goal here with, oh wow, what a save. We got the ball here with Bernardo Silva. I'm just going to use the left stick dribbling here. Get around this team. Good. Keep going back and forth. Finesse shot. And look at that. 7-0. This is a clinic. And that is going to be the end of the match against Scotland. Let's now see who we're playing in the quarterfinals. We are through, and of course, we are playing France. They beat Turkey 3-1. 
let's now see how this game goes. Here is the French squad we are playing. We got Griezmann, Mbappe, and Dembele. They are a great looking team, but I do think we are better. This will likely be the most important match that we play aside from the finals in this tournament because France is such a high rated team. We're only a few minutes in and we win the ball back. I'm going to try to send a through ball there up to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva is on the ball and he could not stick with it. We got the ball here forward with Rafael Leal. I'm going to use the skill move. We should be able to get around the defender here. Yes, we do. He is so quick. And now I have a few options. I'm going to pass it into the middle to Otavio. Can Otavio get a finish shot off? Yes, he can. 1-0 in the 16th minute. That is a great start to this game. We got the ball back here with Leo up to Cristiano Ronaldo. I want to get a goal with him here. We're going to get around the defenders. I don't know why they're not defending. This is supposed to be world class. And we just got a goal with Cristiano Ronaldo. He is having an absolute tournament of his life. Great defending there by Otavio. We're going to play it up here to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva is going to take away two defenders, which leaves Leo open in the middle. And then we're going to pull a run here. Beautiful ball, and he is offside. Great defending there by Bruno Fernandes. We get the ball to Leo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Nobody can defend this man, but I'm going to lay off to Paulinho, who made the run of his life and should score it. He doesn't, but we get the header off with Bernardo Silva, and we get our third goal of the match. I could be so wrong with this, but world class feels way too easy. I wish I did legendary. Great ball up to Bernardo Silva. We got tons of space here, and I might just go right at him with Bernardo Silva. Yes, we are. And the saves have been incredible so far from the keepers. Great movement there. Rafael Leal, we're going to move it forward here. I'm going to cut back inside and then hit him with a finesse shot from deep. Can we get a goal there? Yes, we can. Leal is a machine. And that is the end of the match, 4-0. Let's now see who we play in the semifinal. We play Italy. I did not expect them to get that far, but considering they had Hungary, Ukraine, and Serbia in the other side of the bracket, that does make sense. They beat Serbia 5-0, which is crazy. And then we're likely going to face England in the finals. And here is Italy's team. They got Chiesa, Orsolini, Barella. They got a great midfield to be completely fair to them. And then decent defense and attack. But let's get into it. I think we will put up another few goals on them. We got the ball back here with Ronaldo in the midfield. Skill move to get between these two. And I'm going to hit a shot from way out. Can we get a goal? Oh my, what an incredible shot by Ronaldo. That shot power is crazy. See, Dalo does a great job winning that ball back. Bernardo Silva threw ball up to Cristiano Ronaldo. We're going to do a skill move. Didn't really do much. That's fine. I'm going to lay a through ball into Dalo again, and I'm going to make a pass across the pitch. It was going to be hard. Okay, we played out the ball here to lay out. I'm going to use the skill move to get around the defender. It's too easy. He's way too fast for the Italian defense. And we lost the ball. We got the ball here with Ronaldo. I'm going to take a shot from far out. Can that go in? What a goal. Cristiano Ronaldo with a brace in the semi-finals. All right, we got the ball here with Ronaldo. Skill move got past him somehow. Let's see if we can get the hat trick for Ronaldo in the semi-finals. That would be crazy. Can we get another goal with him? Yes, we can. That shot power is crazy. You guys got to choose Portugal if you're playing through the tournament. That is amazing. We are now away here with Rafael Leao. And he is going to beat the defender on pace. But we remembered last time they cornered us here. So I'm going to do a spin on them. And I'm going to hit him with a finesse shot from far out. What a goal. 4-0 for Portugal. That should be the end of the match. And there you go. That is full time 4-0 for Portugal. Let's now get into the finals with I assume is going to be England. Let's see who we're playing in the finals. It is going to be England. Yes, they beat Belgium 3-2 in the semifinal. Here we are in the final. This is what we are playing for the Euro trophy right there. And we're going up one of England's best sides in history. We got Foden, Kane, Bellingham. So many incredible players. But of course, Portugal is trying to win this for Cristiano Ronaldo. Right away, they gave away the ball, which will be a huge mistake for them because now we got the ball with Otavio. Otavio plays into the center for Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo to Bruno Fernandes. Didn't do much there, but we're going to lay off to Leao because Leao has tons of space. Back into the center to Bruno Fernandes. Back across to Ruben. We got the ball here. Up to Bruno Fernandes. Into the middle for Cristiano Ronaldo. And can Cristiano Ronaldo score in the final? Yes, he can. 1-0 in the 12th minute for Cristiano Ronaldo, and let's hit him with the Sui. Gotta love it. We got the ball here, out wide to Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo's skill move. I'm gonna hit him with a finesse shot. That should be a goal. What a goal from Ronaldo. He's on a brace in the Euro final. What a man. We're gonna pull this defender that way, Bellingham that way. Good, create space here for Bernardo Silva. 
into the middle to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, finesse shots. Can that be a goal? Oh, hits off the post. We almost had the hat trick. All right, we got seven minutes left to create history and give Ronaldo a hat trick. Ronaldo has a ball. He's got the ball. I'm going to shoot it from outside the box or just inside the box. And Ronaldo gets his hat trick in the Euro final. What an incredible turn tournament for Ronaldo in the 86 minutes. We make it 3-0 for Portugal. We are almost on the match, and that is the match. Portugal have reached glory once again. They are going to lift the Euro for the second time in Cristiano Ronaldo's career and for the second time in history. Look at these celebrations. We got the captain, Bernardo Silva, there. What an incredible tournament this was. 3-0 was the final score, and now we're going to get all the rewards for winning in world class. But first, we got to see... This incredible cutscene, that is amazing. Wow. Portugal are the champions. You gotta love it. So here's the rewards for winning the tournament. And then we also get the first time bonus, which is 480 journey points. We will be able to use those towards rewards in the future. Thinking about it now, though, I should have changed Ronaldo to the captain before the match so that he would have lift the trophy, but it is what it is. Anyways, that was winning the Euros with Portugal. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please drop a like. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.